Hi, um, welcome back to the channel. Obviously, we're deep in the winter projects. Um, we obviously, you've seen a video of us obviously stripping this all down. Uh, we've gone through all the paint drawing, stay while it's paint drawing at the minute. We've stripped the wheels, which were an absolute bastard. Um, we've got all new parts in here. Uh, I've got an engine that I've got to build, so we're going to try and film most of it and keep you up to date with everything that we're doing. Um, there's new wheel bearings, uh, we've got um, other stuff drawing in the paint room. My main goal today is to build the engine and then get this in into a roller. Um, we've got what else have we got? We've got um, all the, most of the, all the chrome cleaned. Um, there's a few trick parts. I was going to do it as a just a pure original restoration, but gone. Huh? It's gone off. What's gone off? Screen. It will go off. Oh. It goes off automatically. So we're going to start it no, again now. No, okay. it just it stays recording. Okay, edit that bit out then. Are we still recording is the point. Oh. It's just the screen goes off. That's oh, shit. No, it's not shit, it's the power save, so the screen goes off. For that reason, it doesn't turn it doesn't turn off, the screen just goes into space into thingy mode. Okay, so you've got loads of trick bits. I've got loads of trick bits. Um, I was gonna do just a full restoration, but what I thought was as I'm trawling through eBay and all the other auction sites, whatever sell parts of these. I so, thought, ooh, I like that, ooh, I like that, and before you know it's dropping in my basket and everything else, so. The axle, I'm having out once, so I'm putting new bearings in, new steels, a brand new sprocket, because that sprocket was on it was like a saw blade, so we've gone down, what was it, a 50 cement? Seven was it, a 50? Oh, it was something ridiculous, yeah. like 50 sticks or something, so we're going from a 56 to a 35, and then if I need to be, if I need more gearing and stuff, because anything I put on this is going to be bolt off, so we're not going to ruin its originality or anything else. One of the guys on the forum, or on one of the Facebook groups, has managed to get me a hub and a set of pegs, because the pegs had those stirrups welded into them, which we don't longer need. Uh, so that, those stirrups were welded into it, um, and so for the amount of effort it was to try and cut them out, I thought it was just easy to buy a set. So I bought a second hand set, the guy also had the hub, and um, I won't lie, it was 15 quid for the hub, and he wanted £25 for the pegs. Bit of a sad story to be honest, the guy had two ATCs, two ATC 90s, two ATC 110s and I think one or two 175 or 185 as well and the plates burnt down. So anything that was on them was wrecked but anything metal was still worse. He said there was a few salvageable bits but mostly it was scrap. Uh, but uh, luckily for me the hub was in for now so he, he sold me the bits cheap to obviously keep one alive. Um, then when he said what are you doing I said I'm actually restoring one and he said well it probably been worth more money as an, e as an outrider <laughs> with all the disabled stuff on it but it's too late now <laughs> uh, it was missing the up and over cage if it had everything original with it like if I had the up and over cage and I probably would have said to somebody look if you want to sell me a, a standard ATC for it I'd have gladly swapped it but he said it probably been rarer and worth more money restored as an outrider but I want an ATC and that's what it is so We've still got the three wheeling hob, so it, it, it probably possibly could go back, but we're going to lock that solid axle. So when I'm building that axle back up, having brand new seals, brand new bearings, brand new things, I've also got a load of bits. I've got new rubber cush bits for the uh, the drive on that as well. Um, I'll get through thinking, I haven't even opened these parcels yet because I wanted to, my reaction to be genuine because the, the trip bits I bought, well, one of them anyway, I, I was actually quite excited about, but I, I didn't open the box. so. Um, We'll film what we've got new, and then we'll go from there. Right. Well, this is what I've got. Um, I've already opened this one because I was curious to see what it was. Because I didn't. Sometimes I order stuff I don't realise. So they're the cush drives for the uh, rear axle. That's gone. Let's see what this is. Got 
that is a small rear sprocket in it. You know, they didn't much small. I just looked online for the smallest rear sprocket possible. God, that's a lot of size difference in it compared to the old one, which is still on the uh, end of the uh, axle. But those cush drives obviously fit push straight onto the uh, end of that. They go on like so. I thought, do you know what? If you're going to be in there, be in there once. So that's that. These are obviously bearings because you can probably tell I ain't even opened them yet. Should have checked really check the sizes, make sure I had the right ones. But yeah, they come with seals and the bearings. So that when I build the axle it's all completely fresh and I ain't gotta be back in there like I'm, I haven't used a 35 year old bearing, so see what this is, this should be my new rear grab rail. To be honest from the picture it looked aluminium, but could be steel but it was a uh, the chrome was all pitted on the old one and I was looking around for one and the original ones were just mega money and uh, as you do you just internet search ATC and then well you know yeah Ooh. it is steel and it looks powder coated chrome which is actually all right to be fair. and uh, and it come with an LED like tail light in it that you probably obviously we could wire up that looks uh looks really squished to be fair I'm actually really happy with that that's all right yeah that's good obviously we've got a uh, the ATC has got a lighting stator in it so I probably could uh, wire up that light let's put that aside okay pass that over set so you can see for side comparison at the uh the sprocket. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> I didn't think the 35 was going to be that small. But, oh god, yeah. So that's going to make a massive difference to it. I mean, that's probably why it had so much power on the tick over to uh, crash and kill me before. So, right. I'll keep this rolling. So, uh, we can uh, uh, film what we're doing bear with me with the crappy shots so they're the four legs we're going to clean them down and get them uh, coated today and painted um, this is my main goal for today is I'm, I built a little engine stand so we can uh, sit and uh, build an engine up so this is the original ATC 4 speed um, I've given it a quick clean and a wipe um, I'm going to put the 88 barrel because the the exhaust would not come out of that would not come out of the uh, barrel at all out of the head so that's completely see solid in there I tried grabbing it and for now I said this head is finished I mean I could probably sit and persevere and try and get it out but just for time I've got a big valve head anyway and an 88c piston in a another engine so we're just going to pull this out I've got a brand new gasket set we're going to freshen this up um, then we're going to just completely overhaul the engine I'm going to give it an oil change repaint all the cases and everything else so this is a fresh engine almost uh, to go back into the ATC uh, we built this nice little uh, bench out of some scrap we had so it's got like a nice little uh, little stainless steel bowl and we can throw parts in and then we can bang part wash and it drops down into the bottom um, my dad's been in here cleaning some of this stuff so this has come up really well I actually thought that wasn't going to be able to be saved but the bars and that and I mean credit where credit's due the old man done well and cleaned most of this up so that can all go back on um, where are we at now? These wheels are going back into, uh, we're going to paint these and shoot these. We, I was going to go OTC and start powder coating stuff and everything else, but you know what? It really didn't need it. It wasn't that bad. They all just need a clean and a spruce. We'll throw a rattle can over most of it. I mean, I'm buying decent paint, decent enamel um, quality paint, and like, you know, 10 quid a go. So it's not the, you know, the 199 discount store shite. So, um, I'm going to start stripping the other engine and get all the parts out because there's no point in you watching me stripping the engine and take back on and piss out because that would just be boring. And then once we get round to it, I'm going to set up the tripod and uh, we'll, you can watch me pull this apart and see how bad this is. I mean, to be honest, I reckon this is very, very low hours. Um, with it being that, you know, the, the mobility style ATC, um, the frame and everything else, it barely just had grass and very light use. It wasn't abused. There wasn't any vents. Oh, I did have a crack in the frame. Uh, which I've got pictures of so I might show you those um, but it had a crack in the frame here and um, 
I, ha I took it to work and I wilded all that up properly. I don't know how well you can see that in the shot. Um, so yeah, that frame, the, that crack in the frame's been thingy. Like I said, the frame was no heavy corrosion in it. It was all pretty straight. Uh, like I said, I did a couple of shots of this before, so you might get a paint drying video. But once after another 10 minutes, this is going in the storeroom. Then I've got other stuff here. So these are the axle tubes, the covers, the brake drum. They've all just had a nice dusting and clean. So when we build it up, it's nice. So bear with me. And then uh, once I set the tripod up, we'll, um, I'll strip the other, the other engine down I've got. And then uh, we'll start restoring and cleaning down this. I'm going to hit it with a wire wheel. And so the engine cases have had a, uh, a dust in and a clean. They look nice. So that's going to go on there. And then once these are all together, then I've got a nice factory uh, reproduction logo to go on there. And then obviously the, uh, the gear shift pattern as well. So they'll go in there. Uh, what I have found out is mystery. The mystery of this truck just keeps on giving. So basically. It was adapted for mobility use and we've discussed this over and over again that it had stirrups in it and an up and over cage but what I hadn't noticed is when I ran this last time I had no engine case on it hence I push started it there was a little tiny hairline crack in the case and to be honest I wasn't that bothered about it but then I realized how did it get a crack there in such an odd place then I realized that once I had the engine on the stand it had this on it and basically what they've done is they've welded a plate onto the end of there so that when you select first gear, so it's down, this flap comes back, hits the side of the case and restricts you to one gear only. So it had that 50, 60 tooth million tooth rear sprocket and it was stuck in first gear. So this thing's, obviously this thing is going to be absolutely mint because the gearbox has never been out of first gear. Um, when I rode it, I had no side case on it so I was able to go up through all the gears and everything else. So what I'm going to do is, this is the the engine that's given up its bits. This is a guy, I bought this for another project and never used it. It's got a uh, OO racing or, or like an aftermarket uh, bore kit in it. I think it's up to 88cc. It's got a big valve head, everything else. So this is going to give up its life. Well, it probably the bottom end's still great, so I'll probably even use that in another future project or pass it on to somebody else who's someone's desperate for a Honda Cub 3 speed bottom end. So the sprocket I'm going to change. So. It's got a tiny front sprocket, so we're going to go up to this. I don't even know what this is. It's going to be like a mid-13 or 12 tooth or something like that. I'm going to pull all this top end apart, get it all in the bench, and I'm going to pull the other part, engine apart now. I'm going to paint and clean up all the engine cases on the, well, on the original ATC engine. While that's drying, then I'm going to strip this. Um, unfortunately, I've lost my gasket set. Uh, hopefully it turns up, but if not, I'm not going to be able to assemble this today. If not, I've still got plenty enough stuff I can crack on with. We can put the axle in the back of the trike frame and we can start building up as a roller. There's front forks to be painted as well. So, um, yeah, and there's got these little trick bits on my head. I'm assuming they're for like some sort of high lift cam or something else. Like I say, I bought this off a lad and he'd had somebody work on it. Um, and the carb that I put on it with the big ball carb and everything else is here. So that's all going to go on it as well. So it'll be really tricky and a real nice little, should be a real nice little rider. Um, I'm trying to convert the 6 volt crank spindle to run a pull start so I might have to notch that case or do something with that but the gentleman I got the um, rear hub and assembly off for the off the Facebook group he's sending me well I paid for another uh, pickup wheel so I can actually cut one up and modify it without the cry that I, you know I've got a one chance deal at it so at least if I fuck it up I've got half a chance there's also the gear selector I'm going to be using unless someone's hacked the back out of it you know normal normal fucking deal they normally chop the heel piece out of it but that'll go nicely onto the uh, ATC and it, the chrome's quite good on it so quick clean up with that and that's going to go into the uh, assembly box so I've got a box of assembly parts here so these are all the bits that are ready to assemble so parts assemble so I've got new tubes uh, the sleeves the handlebars all cleaned up the sprocket and everything else uh, this bar I decided while um, I was doing stuff that this LED light isn't even a brake light, it's just a marker light. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to clean up the original uh, reflector, which looks in great shape. So I'd rather have the ori more of original look on it. Um, I've got the shoes. I was going to buy new shoes, but to be honest, these are absolutely mint. Like I said, this thing's never been out of first gear, I don't think. So we're currently cleaning. 
I'm going to try and search around for this gasket set. If it don't turn up, then I'm still going to just clean and strip this bottom end and paint it. Um, hopefully that gasket set comes up because I'd like to get this engine built and at least dropped in the frame today. Uh, like I said, we made this little stand. It's great. So we just used a pair of old pit bike pegs and then we can literally bolt them in and work on them great. So like, you can come in and pull all the cylinder off and work on them great. And then we've got like a little part wash tub we can will and wash and clean stuff. So, right. Let's get on and find this gasket set. I bought one brand new, this is all I do. I just buy stuff, lose it, buy new stuff and then realise, oh I've already got one of those. And it's just like a constant circle. Oh look, you know I said I needed grips, I've got some in here. And there's the pickup and flywheel. Okay, let's try and find these gaskets in an hour.
Stop whistling, you dickhead. Right. I've got a shot of paint on that. Looks really decent. And once that's dry, I'm going to give it an hour. Let that dry, and then I'm going to start building up the rest of the engine. While in the meantime, got my knee sanding down the panels. While the front forks, we shoot some paint on that. So once we shot some paint on that, then we can get the frame rolling. Okay. And the old man. He's been in the paint booth. We've got a paint booth next door now. <laughs> Progression. Yeah, we've got a paint booth next door. <laughs> it's, it's a paint booth. It's a table next door. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a paint booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a yeah, paint booth. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a table. Same as the parts washer we've got as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a table next door with the door closed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to get the engine, uh, the framework up and rolling. Uh, so the framework can all get done now. So I'm going to start cleaning up the axle parts which is down here, so I'll start cleaning up the axle, I can build the axle into the frame um, then I'm going to come back in about an hour's time and start throwing the head on and everything on the bottom of this engine uh, I'm going to throw the other side case and other side oil on it so the engine's all built up, all mint and we can just literally just drop it in the engine with a couple of uh, bolts just so we can uh, get some progress today and then, uh Don't do that again. Wanker! <laughs> <laughs>